Hello everybody, Jim here, looking at the brand spanking new Mustang Alpha. Isn't that glorious? Now, I recognize that this thing needed some landing gear, some like honest to goodness, you know, little wheelie landing gear. And you can't see it very well because they're buried in the self-land hangar floor. Uh, you know, we can't see this very well. Let me, let me turn on my light. There we go. I don't know why it's so stinking dark in here, but you can see the wheels are halfway into the floor and it needed these landing gears. When I first heard that they were making squishy landing gear for all the ship, I thought to myself, oh, my, my original ship, my Mustang Omega, can't get squishy landing gear because you land on the wings. Well, they fixed that problem and they kept the stupid wings. It still looks pretty neat. I like it a lot. I just, I really, really liked the ridiculous old body style. Uh, and I'm not 100% certain on this. It's been a long time since I've checked it out, but I believe these got a size boost. I think these used to be size one. If I recall, I put bulldog, uh, bulldogs, <laughs> bulldogs on my Delta. Uh, and over here you've got an extra hard point so you can get four weapons on this bad boy at the moment. And down here, for some reason, we still have the rocket pod hard point uh, from the Delta that is not usable on this ship. So I don't know if that's going to be usable or if they're just going to redo the model and take that off. But right now you've technically got six hard points on this thing. So that actually makes it a pretty formidable fighter. But this is the Mustang Alpha. Over here you will see the Mustang Gamma, which has gotten a slight coloring change, and it's blue now. It is this beautiful blue, and I really like that. That's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous blue. Uh, it's almost iridescent. I like that a lot. Uh, I I had my first car, which of course... Well, not my first car. It's the first car I bought for myself. Uh, my mother spent $500 on a junker for me when I was a teenager. But... Uh, my first car that I bought for myself was a brilliant blue station wagon. It was a Ford Escort station wagon. And my wife nicknamed it the Tail Wagon. <laughs> That's right. Uh, she didn't, of course, realize the sexual connotations. She just she just named it the Tail Wagon because it had a, a windshield wiper on the back that looked like a wagging tail and she thought it was cute. Uh, man, I almost choked when she uh, told my parents that I'd bought a new car and she'd named it the Tail Wagon. <laughs> Look at her father's face, just priceless. Ah, anyway, over here, we have the new Mustang Omega, which again, looks freaking awesome, but I am left nostalgic. I really, really liked the ridiculous blocky old body style, and this is what we've got now. And it, it it's cool, it is undeniably cool, but I will never stop missing my original Mustang Omega. <sighs> Speaking of original Mustangs, the original Mustang Delta, in my humble opinion, looked much better. I'm frankly kind of disappointed in this. It's not to say that it doesn't look cool. It has a sort of like cool snakeskin appeal, but when you get up close, this doesn't... I mean, it looks like... like quilted toilet paper or something. And it doesn't have the detail, and I can't really get close enough to see for sure. But I think it's think it's just a skin? Yeah, I think it's just a skin. Which I understand. You're you're saving you're saving the world here, and maybe that's the best they could do. So we've got, you know, these this the skin on it that kinda looks like armor, and we're gonna we're gonna save save some frames by uh, by doing it that way. But I mean what have you lost? It's it's not 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 great. And I was looking at look at look at this line here. Right here. Do you see that line? You don't see stuff like that on the older models. And I understand that it's really good for us to uh, reduce the amount of system resources we're going to need to render all of these ships, but really we couldn't we couldn't work a little harder and get rid of that stuff. It's just little things like that keep standing out to me. And one of the reasons that we're waiting so long for Star Citizen is so we can get a level of graphic fidelity unmatched in 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 the rest of video gaming uh, at least at least for something on this scale and for the most part they do that but personally for me I don't care if it looks like Minecraft I don't I I just but if you're gonna take the time and you're gonna make me wait for the game so we can make it beautiful then I would really like you to take the extra 10 minutes to to figure this one out. <laughs> I don't know. 
I don't know how long it takes to do this. I, this is not my job. I don't do 3D modeling, but I feel like in the past they took more care because you didn't see stuff like this. And it's not just that. It's other little things. Like, I mean, I'm I'm actually pretty far back, and I can still see on the sides of that, that wire thing there. It just doesn't look great. So, yeah, I'm, I'm a little disappointed with this from a distance, which is mostly where you'll be seeing it. If you're fighting it, you won't even notice the armor, probably. From a distance, it looks pretty fantastic. It looks like snakeskin, although I still prefer the armor plates from the old one instead of this, you know, qu quilted toilet paper that's on it now. Although, now that I think about it, I've flown this in combat, and it does feel like that armor is made of quilted toilet paper because this wing comes off, like, immediately. <laughs> you get a couple of hits, and this wing is gone. And previously, that just meant that you lost a couple of weapons, and that wasn't that big a deal. The problem is that this uh, this engine also goes with it, like, every time. And then when you go to turn, you can turn right really fast because you've got this, but you can't stop yourself because that big engine is gone. And maybe maybe they didn't mean for that engine to come off at the drop of a hat, but that's the way it's working now. Although, looking at it, I mean, it's it's not really attached very well, is it? <laughs> it's not much, not much connecting it to the rest of the ship. So, yeah, uh, maybe the tissue paper armor is there to let you know that when you fly this thing, that entire wing is going to shear off if you, you know, like accidentally bump into a pigeon while you're flying through atmosphere. I don't know. So yeah, the Mustang Delta, not as pretty as the old one for a number of reasons. But again, the body, the body style is really cool. I just, I feel like the details are lacking. This one here is the Mustang Beta. Now, this is the biggest tragedy, in my opinion, although I don't feel like, like, I don't feel like they've made any glaring mistakes with the, with the, the visuals or anything. What I do feel, let's get in there, into the pilot seat, what I do feel is that the heart and soul of this ship, the thing that made it so great, the thing that made it my Betamax, is now gone. Uh, let's go back and somewhere, there we go, exit to rear. So you hop up, and you have this little compartment here, which is pretty cool. I feel like you should use this for something, like we could put like a gun rack in here or whatever. I don't know. It's an explorer. It's got like zero exploration chops, except for the fact that you can sleep in it and take a dump. But it, I mean, you could at least, you could at least give me a weapon so that when I land on a planet, I can get out and shoot whatever's there. But the real tragedy is back here. And functionally, oh, ah, boy, I forgot these spawn damaged in the hangars now. Uh, functionally, it's the same. It, it, there's no difference. You've got you've got the same bed, although I like the old bed better. You've got the the kitchen area. I liked the old kitchen area a lot better. You've got the pooper. I liked the old pooper a lot better. Hey, the shower's working sweet. I liked the old pooper a lot better, especially that door, that slide up door. Love that thing. And you're completely missing the lounge area. Yes, the old Mustang Beta had a lounge. It was just one place to sit where you could, like, you, like, leaned against the wall and you stretched your legs out that way and you turned to look at a screen over here. And it was just so cool. It felt like a camper, like a camper van. And I really loved it. And now this is just sort of utilitarian. And I'm sure that they, they're trying to meet the style guide for Consolidated Outland's new image, which includes a giant industrial ship. But the, the the Mustangs, they weren't industrial. Silas Corner, or Croner? I can't remember his last name, but Silas is like a billionaire eccentric. And he's exactly the kind of person that would make the Mustangs in one style and his giant industrial ship in another. So I feel like they're trying to match this to the industrial nature of the bigger ship. And I don't think that is I don't think I don't think that's the way to go with this lore wise but you know I you know, do, do you have to do what you have to do to make the game run and if making the game run uh, is easier when ships look identical then it's a sacrifice that I will accept but I'm gonna miss my beta max you know what just just for old times sake one last time let's go have a look at some of the old Mustangs in an old, better-lit self-land hangar. And if you look closely here, you'll see the Mustang Delta has actual pieces of armor <laughs> instead of 
instead of like grandma's quilt or whatever. And if you get up close, you can see it still looks like armor. It looks like, you know, honest to goodness, chunks of metal. And all the details are just generally better. If you get really, really close, you can see that some of those lines are just painted on. And not all of them, but some of them are just sort of painted on the skin. Once you back up even a tiny bit, it, it looks like quality. And it, it's a really, really nice detail job. And over here, we have the Mustang Omega, which, while the body style is absurd, <laughs> it's a flying M. I just, I just love it. I think this looks so much cooler. It's so bizarre and so, I don't know, like 80s fighter spaceship kind of nonsense. I don't, I just think it, I just think it looks better. And I realize that, you know, my taste is probably different than yours. But that brings us to my Betamax, my trusty, trusty Betamax. Oh, I'm going to miss you. You giant blue camper van, you. Let's hop inside. This, for those of you who don't know, is how you get into the older Mustangs. You sort of climb up through the, the butthole here. And then if you look left, and this never worked, but it's a good thing they got rid of it. There's the cockpit. And if you look right, here is the camper portion of the Mustang. And it's cramped, yes, but it does feel feel like you're camping. It really feels like a camp trailer. And, you know, the sink is approximately the same, but look at this here. You've got... Oh, when did they change this? This is different. This... Oh, uh-oh. <laughs> this this used to be, like, a lounge couch with pillows. Oh, apparently my, my beta's been dead for a long time now. Uh, what happens if we sit here? You used to, like, lean back and look to your right. Oh, no, gross. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. But trust me, this used to be better. And even still, having an extra seat where you can get some work done and use this, this monitor here is better than, than what we've got now. But the biggest tragedy is the loss of this door. How awesome is that? You got your pooper. You got presumably a shower. I don't know. Is there a shower in here? I can't, I can't quite tell. But this door, that's awesome. So before we head out, I've popped into Arena Commander to show you a little bit of how the new Mustang Delta flies. And maybe we'll even, we'll even see the uh, quilted toilet paper fail <laughs> and have some wings pop off of this thing. Uh, okay, let's hop back in there. Oh, oh, we're getting hit. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. But I've replaced the stock loadout with the uh, new auto cannons. We've got two M4As and two Omnisky, size two, both of them. And as you can see, that's actually pretty good. Uh, previously, if I had tried to do that with the auto cannons, it would have taken a lot more hits. And just to be certain, I went and switched back to the, the repeaters to see if maybe like the ship health had gone down or something and that didn't seem to be the case then I popped into a uh, battle royale with another live player just to make sure that everything functioned the same there and it seemed to be really really close so these new auto cannons they hit harder they overheat faster and I think that's a great thing I think that's wonderful we really needed that we need harder hitting uh, weapons where you have to call your shots anymore like you can't just you can't just hold down on that button and rake them with, with uh, the auto cannons anymore. You used to be able to kind of do that with them. <laughs> and they do hit much harder, especially the bigger ones. So, yeah, I love the changes to the auto cannons. That also brings another, I don't know if I'm going to call it a benefit, but it was certainly unexpected. I've been complaining about these rockets, these ones right here. I've been complaining about these for ages. They used to be fantastic. Then they started to suck. Then they let you put weapons on your like in, in your rocket hard points so you could have six guns on the Delta, and that was great. Then they made you cake the rockets back, and the rockets were just awful. Part of the reason why the rockets were awful is because the uh, projectile speeds were so different from every other gun in the game. So what that means is when you're trying to track a target, you get two pips. See how those pips are about a centimeter apart? 
Well, previously they would the the red pip would have been off the screen. It would it would be so bad. Now they get close enough to occasionally use them. So you can actually use the rockets now sometimes. Uh, they occasionally line up with the other pips on the gun in the stock loadout, and that's a good thing. Unfortunately, the damage still sucks. But I guess if like if that Aurora were attacking your constellation buddy or whatever, uh, you can hit them with these rockets. <laughs> and if they don't blow up, uh, it does tend to spin smaller ships, so it would knock them off target. It's very disorienting when you're a pilot. The other thing is, they've kind of fixed my problem with those rockets by making the auto cannons hit harder and overheat faster. That's interesting because that's not a solution I would have thought of. You gave me more power in the auto cannons, which I am all in favor of, and you made them overheat faster. So when my auto cannons overheat, I still have backup weapons. Now previously, like the size ones and size twos took forever to overheat. I almost never overheated those, but when I'm playing uh, in <laughs> when I'm playing, man, this is fun. I love this game. <laughs> when I'm playing uh, in later Vandal Swarm or later Pirate Swarm, like you get up to like round 10 or so, you can easily overheat those cannons. And then you've got the rockets for backup. And it's also nice because you have a backup ballistic weapon that you are forced to carry. I usually don't do that. I always opt for all energy, so I never run out of guns. That is it for the Mustang series. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll answer them to the best of my ability. And if I can't, I guarantee there's somebody out there who's been closely following Star Citizen for the last six months, unlike me, who can. not Thank you all very much for watching. And I hope you enjoyed episode four of the five episode series I'm doing to make up for being gone for five months. And I will see you, hopefully, oh wait, no, this is episode three. Look forward to episode four. I'm recording that next. No, wait, this is episode four. Man, I'm bad at this. Do-do, 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 do-do.